Hi, in this video we are going to see conditional formatting part 1. Let's see what are the topics here. We'll be looking for highlighting cell rules, we'll be looking for top bottom rules and how do we clear rules. On the screen if you see there's some data given here. There's a number, text and date purposely I've written different data. Let's see what is that conditional formatting. Normal formatting is just applying a formatting without any uh, criteria or prerequisite. But conditional formatting is you have some criteria or you have some condition based on which you're putting some formatting. Let's see how it is. I have some numbers. If you see, I want to highlight those numbers based on some criteria. So let's say I want to highlight numbers which are greater than 50. So first thing is I will select the cells in which the numbers are there and then I'll go to home tab. And in the home tab, if you see, I have something conditional formatting. In the conditional formatting, I'll select the option as highlight cell rules greater than. Once I click on this greater than, I'll get this dialog box which says which cells you want to highlight. So I have the condition as 55 given. So I'll type here 50. And once the criteria is done, with which formatting do you want to format? So the format is given as light red fill with dark red. So you see on the screen, it is already colored. Okay, if you want to change the formatting, you can select from these options or else still if you don't like it, what is given here, you can go to custom format. So from the custom format, you can select the formatting you want for yourselves. Like what type of color, what type of border or the number format you want. Right now, I'll not go in detail for that. I'll just click on OK. So you see greater than 50, all the numbers have been highlighted. Imagine tomorrow this number becomes greater than 50. Let's say this cell becomes uh, uh, it is right now 10 if it becomes as 58 so you see this it is automatically colored and if the number 80 is decreased to less than 50 or you can see as 25 so the color will automatically go away so this way you can put different options here what are the different options available conditional formatting highlight cell rules so I have shown you how to go for greater than similarly you can go for less than between and you can go for equal to all the four options let's see the other method now the other one is text that contains. So on the screen, if you see, I've written some random text that is the days, Monday to Sunday, and again, I've repeated. Now, I want to highlight only that text in which Monday occurs. So if you see in the screen, Monday, and the second one is Monday. So I want to highlight those cells. So the same method, I'll select this cells in which the data is there, that is the text, and I'll go to conditional formatting, and I'll go to highlight cell tools. And you see this option as text that contains. So once I click on this dialog box, it says which text you want to highlight. So it has taken automatically as Monday. If I want, I can just delete it and you can just change it to Tuesday. So you see all the Tuesdays are highlighted and you can keep on changing as per your requirement. And also the same like formatting which you have seen earlier. So this way you can select. If I want, I can just change it to Wednesday like this and see you can see this two are highlighted. And you can just click on OK. So this way you can put some condition and highlight those cells. If this Sunday becomes as Wednesday, if somebody changes it, so you automatically that color also changes according to your requirement or criteria. Next is this was for the numbers. This was for the text. And let's see how about the dates. I want to highlight only those cells which occurs in the next week. I'm just giving an example. So I'll select this entire data, the column, and I'll go to this home tab, conditional formatting highlight cell rules and you can see there's a date occurring so i'll select this date occurring and i'll select and i'll select that option date occurring for next week so you see next week it starts from 17th july today is 13th july so from 17th july all the cells will be highlighted and i'll click on ok similarly if this date changes to 17th july or 18th july this will automatically highlight so this way you can highlight dates also next we have something known as duplicates and unique values. Let's see what is that. In this column and now you see I have applied the formatting. Now I want to clear the entire formatting. So there's one option known as clear formats. So you can go to the conditional formatting and you can see the last option clear rules and there are two options available. Do you want to clear rule from selected cells? That is the selected cell or do you want to clear rules from the entire worksheet? So right now I'll prefer the second option entire worksheet and I'll click, it, click on this option. So wherever the rules were applied, everything will go away. So the, all the rules formatting will be gone. Next is, if I want to highlight some duplicate values or sometimes unique values, I can use this method. 
Now in this column, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, these three cells are repeated that are duplicate values. So I'll select this cells and I'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules and you see the last option which is duplicate values. I'll just click on this duplicate values and if you see by default automatically it has selected three duplicate values and that those are repeated. That is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and again Monday, Tuesday, two, two times Wednesday. Now this is if I click on OK, this will be applied. Now if you don't want for duplicate values, if you want for unique values, how we can go with? You can select the option from here, let's say unique values and you can select the unique values from here. Yeah, so these are the three unique values in the entire column. So imagine this is a very small data. Imagine the database is very large. That time this will be much more useful and you can just click on OK. Now remember there's one thing which is hidden though they have set as duplicate values but there's a feature which I can use as unique values also. I'll just click on OK and click outside. So that rule is applied. Now if I type here something some other text enter. So this one is also unique value which will be highlighted automatically. Now I'll just clear all the rules from the sheet itself. Conditional formatting clear rules from the entire sheet. Next I have Next I have that what you call highlight cell rules was done. That is the next one is conditional formatting top bottom rules. Now if you see this entire column, what are the top percentage or you can say top items? I have 10 to 100. The first item which is top that is 100. So what I'll do is I'll select this number and with the help of this conditional formatting, conditional formatting highlight cell rules, sorry top bottom rules and I have top 10 items. So I want to select top 10 items. If I click on this option, it says I have 10 items. So all the 10 items are top 10 items, but I'm looking for only one item. So what I'll do is I'll just reduce this number and I'll say I want top one item. So in this entire column, there's one number which is 100. It is the top one item in this column itself. And if I click on OK, so that number is highlighted. So this way I can go till 10 numbers and more than that. So like this, I can select if this 50 becomes as 100, so in this entire column, there are two items which are top, which is the unique number that is 100 and this is captured as. Similarly, if I want top bottom 10 items, similarly I can go for it. But before that, I'll just clear options, clear rules from the entire sheet. Now I'll select these numbers and I'll go for conditional formatting, top bottom rules and I'll select the second option as bottom 10 items. So if you see bottom 10 items, all are the 10 items, but the most bottom item is number 10. So I'll click on this bottom 10 items. And from here, I'll just select the lowest item that is bottom one item. Yeah, so this is bottom one item. If I increase to two, that becomes bottom two item, bottom three item. And this way you can keep on expanding. And if you want, you can change the color from this place also, right? Right now I'll click on OK. So this rule is applied. Now, if I want to clear rule the same method, again, you have to go to conditional formatting, clear rules, clear rules from entire sheet. Let's see the next one. I have something known as top 10 percentage. In this entire column, top 10 percentage belongs to this 100. Next level becomes to 80 and 90. So now if I go to first, I need to select everything. I'll select the column and then I'll go to conditional formatting top bottom rules. I'm talking about top 10 percentage. So once I click on this top 10 percentage, it says the top 10 percentage are given to this 100 number. If I ask them to increase for top 20 percentage, top 20 percentage. Yeah, you can see for top 30 percentage, they have included 90 and it keeps on increasing with every number. Yeah, if I have say top 40 percentage, it also includes the number 80. So this way you can include top 10, top 20, 40 percentage and all. Though the number is given as top 10 percentage, but it gives you till 100 percent also. So I'll just click on cancel. Similarly, if you have seen for top 10 percentage, I hope you'll also be able to understand for bottom 10 percentage, same way. So the bottom 10 percent will include for the number 10, then 20 and then 30. Keep on going it. Next is the last one we have known as above average. So in this place, first I'll show you what is the average given here. I'll just expand this. Yeah. If I've selected this data, now what is the average for this numbers are how much it is 55. Now I want to highlight only those cells which are above average. 
So that time I have to use the same option. First to select the data, conditional formatting, top bottom rules and you see there are two options that is above average, below average. I have the above average as 55 which has calculated automatically. I will select this option as above average. So above 55 I have the numbers as 60, 70 till 100 and those have been captured. Same way I can change the formatting from this place, there is no other option apart from this. There is no other place because automatically it has calculated above average. That is all. So I will just click on OK and the rule is applied and based on that rule the condition is also formatted. That is all. So now in this video we have seen how to go for highlighting cell rules and we have seen multiple options. We have seen how to go for top bottom rules and clear rules. That is all for this video. 